Hello everyone, welcome back to the course Application Development Using Python. In the previous session, we have discussed about introductions to the course and also we have seen module wise content. In this session, we will be concentrating on module 1 on the topic entering expression into the interactive shell. To begin with this topic, we need to install Python in our system. So installing Python will be differ from operating system to operating system. That is, it will be slightly different from in Windows. It may be slightly different in Mac OS. It will be slightly different in Linux. So little care must be taken uh, here to install the Python. So Python can be installed from python.org where uh, you need to check your compatibility and you need to install. Once Python is installed, so you will be seeing uh, our built-in uh, interactive shell will be installed in the Python. That That is, we call it as idle. To open that idle, we need to run it as a administrator or we can directly open it as an administrator. So one interactive shell or Python shell will open once you open that idle. Okay, so you can observe its version and uh, when it has got released all these things you can see. Okay, and next. So let us start with the simple expressions 2 plus. Okay, we got an error. So if you get an error, no worries. Definitely in a programming uh, word there will lot of errors will come and definitely the first step what we have we are doing is we'll copy that error and paste into the search engine definitely search engine will provide a few uh, suggestions in that top three suggestions will be from the stack overflow if you find solutions in that top three suggestions then okay otherwise you can enter your questions into that stack overflow and you can get the solutions uh, from the community okay so let us begin with one more expressions that is 2 plus 2 we'll see how python will evaluate this expressions so you can see 2 plus 2 is evaluated as 4 because 2 is considered as an integer and plus is the operator for addition and 2 is again operand so it is evaluated as 4 so next see uh, one more uh, uh, subtraction operations we will see 3 minus 2 here also it is evaluated to 1. Why? Because minus is the subtractions operator. 3 and 2 are the two operands you can observe here. Okay. Next, how to divide the numbers? Okay. Division, we must be little careful. 7 by 2, if you enter, we will get the answer 3.5. Okay. That we can see floating point answers we will get. If you want to round up this, then you have to use 2 forward slash. So that is 3 only. Okay. Next, if you want to multiply. Okay. So multiply, obviously, uh, in the handwriting conventions, we use cross 7. 3 cross 7. No, it is not evaluated. We are supposed to use star. You can observe uh, it is evaluated 3 uh, multiplied by 7. That is 21. Okay. So next. So next, uh, we need to understand the, the few things. It is uh, uh, types of the variable. Okay. So 7 is an integer. If I just write 7, 7.0, 7 if I write, then it is a floating point. Okay. So if I write with the single quote string, that is evaluated as a string. Okay. So how? In case of string, if I use that same operator what I used in the integer, so consider string and plus uh, string 2, I will uh, slight modifications, I will do instead of string, I will make it as string 1 plus string 2 we will see how python will evaluate this that is string 1 is concatenated with string 2 that is the new string it has uh, uh, evaluated that is string 1 string 2 okay so now we will see uh, string 
one it is a string operate uh, operand i'm adding i'm trying to add with it a uh, integer value 34 so you can observe that it is not uh, uh, it is uh, it is not able to understand that what we are going to do it it is throwing me an error that means uh, 34 is a not uh, string okay so it is expecting in place of 34 it is expecting a string okay so next how uh, these expressions are evaluated that is somewhat very important to understand because uh, these operators will have a precedence okay so 3 plus 4 4 okay star 7 so which operator will be evaluated first that is the questions right here so well, uh, we will see the answer first. We will see how this is evaluated in the next step. Okay. So, we are getting 30. 7 into 4 is 28 and it is added with 2. So, it is 30. So next, we will see one more expression. 7 into 2 plus 6 okay so that is uh, 7 into 2 is 14 14 plus 6 is 20 you can observe it is always evaluating star multiplication operator first and next it is evaluating plus operator that is what precedence here same way star division will be evaluated first and next star uh, uh, addition and subtraction operators are evaluated to override this uh, precedence you can use uh, what uh, parenthesis here You can observe here it is now it is it got changed 2 plus 4 is a 6 6 is multiplied with the 7 that is 42 okay so we have one uh, interactive website for that the day is automate uh, this is the author of the, uh, the textbook python automate the boring stuff he is the author of this website so we will see that how evaluations are done to hyphen one dot htm it's taking some time okay so let us uh, continue with this uh, expressions that how precedences are used if you want to override any precedence you can use the parenthesis so same way uh, if you are not using one operand then it will throw an error so, uh, same way in english and uh, any particular language if any mistakes are there we say grammatical mistake same way here it will be having a syntax mistakes or syntax error next so we have that evaluations format how it will be done you can observe here 2 plus 3 star 6 okay so next how it is evaluated is 3 and 6 is evaluated that is 18 now and next 2 plus 18 is evaluated that is 20 the same one if you put the parenthesis bracket that means 2 plus 3 is evaluated that is 5 so 5 into 6 is evaluated that is 30 so you can find the difference if you are using a uh, parenthesis okay so next a uh, few uh, concatenations and uh, replications method we will see that so concatenations you know a b uh, c if you add that with the uh, positive operator so concatenations will be done with the plus operator same way replications operators we say uh, you can if you want to print particular things multiple times abc star 
10. So then ABC is multiplied uh, or it is uh, printed uh, 10 times. So this is the difference you can find here that is called the concept replication. So coming up next will be the discussion on uh, storing values in the variable. See you in the next sessions. Thank you and happy learning.